Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I have a whipping track to share with you all. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So today I have a very big whip chat life update to share with you guys. It's been quite a while um, since my last one, but this is actually going to be one of the first videos that I do for the Disney Diamonds event. It is starting June 1st. If you guys have not seen yet, we have actually started a Facebook group. It is called the Disney Den. Uh, and I will put the link for that down below. Most of the event is going to take place in that Facebook group. Some of it will be on Instagram, of course, a little bit of it on YouTube, but mainly that event is going to take place in that Facebook group. Uh, it goes from June 1st until August 1st. It's going to be an awesome event. We have some awesome sponsors. I will be doing a video dedicated to the sponsors in the future. I do have a couple things from the sponsors. Uh, this is a beautiful cover minder from Diamond Pen Pal. You can actually get them in their Etsy shop for $8 right now. Beautiful, beautiful cover minder. So I have this. I also have these beautiful release papers from Bee's Crafty Corner. These are also for sale in their Etsy shop. Very, very beautiful cover minders. I, of course, am using them on my canvas right now. This canvas is Bookworm from Jada Gem Shop and Ariane Dainty. I had actually started this canvas last year, I believe, and only did like a tiny section. Uh, but this canvas has a ton of color blocking, so I'm starting out with this canvas. Uh, before I go any further, yes, I'm wearing gloves. This is something I will talk about in a moment. Uh, my son and I had a horrible case of hand, foot, and mouth. And that is why I'm wearing gloves. I'm almost over it, but I've been wearing gloves to try to not spread it around. Um, so those are some things from the sponsors. This tape is from an Etsy shop. I will try to link it below. Um, really adorable Etsy shop. I don't know if this tape is still there, but I bought this tape like a year or two ago. My pen is a beautiful pen from Patriotic Team, and my tray is from Yellow Dog Designs. I absolutely love this tray. It has the washi tape insert in it, and then my storage, if you see my storage, it is from Harbor Freight. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, um, starting out with me and wearing the gloves and everything uh, my son and i like i say had a terrible terrible case of hand foot and mouth and that is basically um it's kind of like having chicken pox uh, because at first you get this really terrible fever and chills and then like a day or two after that you start getting uh, these bumps all over your hands, feet, and mouth. Um, I did get a really bad case of it. I got really, really sick with it. Um, this is almost a full week since I've had it, and I'm still kind of recovering from it. Um, it's actually been one of the worst sicknesses that I can recall ever having had. So, it's been terrible. Um, my little boy had it pretty badly. He seemed to recover from it uh, quicker than I did. I'm, I'm still honestly kind of struggling um, a full week later. So not been fun um we have been in the house the entire time um been going a little stir crazy from that uh we are actually supposed to be going on vacation this sunday uh barring nothing else happening um we are planning on going to 
a beach house in Myrtle Beach. My parents um, arranged all of that um, about a year ago for us to go. So, yeah, like I say, barring nothing else happening, uh, we, <laughs> we are supposed to do that. But it, it's been a very interesting um, last couple weeks or so. So, we actually, my husband's 40th birthday actually got derailed because of all of this. Um, actually, the day, I think it was the day before... Um, I had planned this really big party, 40th birthday party for my husband, um, really nice cake and all this stuff, and my son, uh, started showing up with the fever and all of that right before, right before all of that happened, but we did thankfully get to have a very nice dinner at a restaurant called uh, Texas Day Brazil. It's one of those uh, Brazilian steakhouse restaurants where they have a salad bar and they bring around all these different meats uh, to your table. Really good. Thankfully, we did get to do that uh, for my husband, my husband, my mom, my dad, and one of my nieces um, all have birthdays in May. And actually, my I have a younger brother who passed away 11 years ago, and his birthday was in May as well. So, we um, actually all went out to dinner for their birthdays right before uh, my son and I got sick with this. So, thankfully, we did at least get to do that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, his actual party got very very derailed I haven't seen my family we haven't seen any of our family in like over a week um I normally see my family several times a week so uh it's definitely not been <laughs> it's definitely not been fun in any capacity whatsoever um but I've been trying to, you know, get ready for this Disney event. I have not been able to ship anything out. Uh, thankfully, I haven't really sold anything or had anything um, I really des desperately needed to ship out. Uh, but I have not shipped anything out. I've tried to touch my craft stuff as little as possible throughout all of this um and we have lysol and bleached and everything else in the world it's been it's been crazy um but that's the biggest thing so a couple other things i don't think i talked about this yet on youtube um i am sort of taking a social media hiatus this summer i'm only posting on my social media accounts once a week on Fridays. That is the only time I'm posting on my social media accounts. I'm posting more on the Disney Den account, the Facebook group. I post on there several times a week. And I also have a new um, art Instagram that I'm posting on more than once a week. But my other diamond painting accounts, I'm only posting on once a week. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have become extremely burnt out on diamond painting. I am just now um, sort of getting back into diamond painting. I Basically, the story was I was working on a diamond painting that was just really burning me out. And I kind of pushed myself farther than what I should have with it. And I knew better. Um, but I really burnt myself out and I just really need to, really need to slow down, um, as far as the diamond painting. I'm working on a lot of other crafts right now. I've been doing some Lego things. Uh, like I say, I have started an art account. It's called A-N-H Artistry 89. And I'll try to link it below as well, but I am 
actually drawing again i used to draw and paint a lot when i was younger it was something i was really passionate about passionate about and i've talked about it before um i actually wanted to i've actually always wanted to be an artist um and i do consider myself an artist even though i don't you know i've never actually really made money from it or anything but i am what i am actually drawing with my mediums as you would say um, are watercolor markers i have been really loving watercolor markers so i started an art account and uh, we will just see we'll see where it goes it's just another outlet for me and it's something that i really need right now to have besides diamond painting and i've always been a multi-crafter uh, diamond painting just kind of took over the last few years but i've always been into different crafts and different kinds of artistry so i'm just really getting back to my roots of doing all different crafts and not just doing one specific craft all the time i love diamond painting and i'm going to continue to do diamond painting but i'm going to be doing it at a much larger at a much smaller scale than what i have been i'm actually in the process of de-stashing a lot of my diamond painting stuff um if you guys do not follow me on instagram i've actually started uh june in june i'm going to start um what is called a random act of kindness every month i'm going to send uh selected individuals different diamond painting things from my stash so i can pare down my diamond painting stash i posted it in the community tab uh here on my youtube in the uh, community tab i posted a google form that um you can fill out if you're interested in being added to that list but i'm really when we come back from our vacation i'm gonna start really really paring down i've been trying to de-stash and get just get rid of things that i'm not using diamond painting and otherwise um we are still trying to sell this house and that's another big reason i'm trying to downsize because it's a big possibility that i will not have a craft room uh when we move to a new place because we plan on majorly downsizing from what we have now so just trying to downsize just trying to calm the uh collections <laughs> that i have uh, you guys who have followed me for a while know about me and my different collections so trying to uh calm myself i really haven't bought a whole lot diamond painting wise i did just yesterday uh take advantage of the buy one get one 50 percent off with diamond art club because there were two that i had really wanted that i had not gotten yet so it was um the wolverine diamond painting and the miss butter d diamond painting that's the one that says i'm here for the food i love that one i cannot wait to work on that one because one thing you guys should know about me i love food i always have so <laughs> that diamond painting is um is absolutely for me but yeah like i say taking steps back um paring things down um if you guys did not see as well i actually also stepped down from being over the diamond painting retreats group um that's just like i say another step in me just kind of doing other things pursuing different paths i don't know there's really quite a bit in my life right now honestly that is up in the air and <laughs> i just i cannot tell you guys what will happen next because i have no clue and 
I'm a planner, I'm a perfectionist, so that, you know, it does bother me having so much in the air, but that is life sometimes, and I've had times like this before where I kind of have to just take a step back and take time to figure things out. That's all I can do. It takes time sometimes. I'm still working on some health stuff. Uh, physical and mental health wise I think after this uh, vacation we go on I'm gonna come back and try to make some other appointments um, still unfortunately dealing with headaches on and off so still trying to figure out um, what is going on it's been pretty strange because I will go several weeks at a time feeling, you know, perfectly fine physically. And then all of a sudden, like, things will start happening again with headaches and things like that. So, I really don't know what's going on. Um, I'm hoping maybe I can have some more blood work or something done. And maybe something can get figured out. It's just... It's just like, you know, I don't know. You you don't ever know what's going on. It's hard to pinpoint things. So, we'll see. All I can do is, uh, is keep trying. But we are, like I say, we're trying to sell this house. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do next year as far as, like, jobs and things. Um, I really have no intentions right now of going back to teaching so I'm trying to figure out uh, what to do as far as a job I do not know yet um, another thing I forgot to talk about um, I did start an Etsy shop but unfortunately I closed it after about a week because there was just really not an interest in it which you know that's how again that's how things go i was upset about it um but honestly just with how much we have going on right now it just it kind of makes more sense for me to not have an etsy shop but i have decided to start making things for giveaways for people who do events in the community so if you know someone or if you're doing an event and you want me to send you some free things uh let me know because i definitely will i i love to make different things i always have um i've tried a few times to sell things that i've made and it has just honestly <laughs> it's never worked out i've tried to sell different things and it's just it's not for me and I finally learned that and that's okay but I'm going to just continue doing my crafts continue making things and continue doing the things that make me happy that's all I can do so that is all of that so talking a little bit more about this event um, like I say if you want to really be active in this event I highly, highly recommend joining that Facebook group because that is where you are going to absolutely see the most activity. Um, it's called Disney Diamonds. Our hashtag we're using is DYDiamonds24. We are doing that because I don't want anyone to be scared off by using the Disney name. I completely understand all that goes with that. Um, so you do not have to use the hashtag Disney Diamonds. You can use this hashtag or you can just tag myself or my host Kyle Hobbies Diamond Guy. You can just tag us. The main important thing is to fill out the Google form, which I will have linked below as well uh, because that is the only way that you will be eligible uh, for prizes. Otherwise, you will not be eligible for prizes and we have some absolutely phenomenal prizes i cannot wait to send some 
of these prizes out because they are, I mean, these are some of the best prizes that, that I've ever had to give away for an event. No joke. They are some of the best that I've ever had to give away for an event. So extremely excited. We have several people signed up for the event. It's going really well and it hasn't even officially started yet. So I'm very, very, very happy and excited. Um, my thought process for what I'm going to do this summer, I'm going to continue just posting once a week, like I say, for mental health and burnout reasons. And then in August, I'm going to make some decisions about what I'm going to do as far as my different social media. I'm also going to be making some decisions about the events that I do. I have the Disney event we're doing in the summer, and then I also have the cup of coffee event um, that I normally do in November. And I will be making decisions about those um, in August. We are not doing the blood, guts, and gore event. We shut that down. We will not be doing that anymore. Um, I will not be doing the unicorn event anymore. And of course, I'm not doing the damsel DP along anymore. And I didn't see anyone else pick that event up. I was kind of hoping they would, but completely understand there's so many events out there now. It's kind of crazy. It's really, <laughs> the event scene has really blown up. Um, which, you know, I, is a good thing that we have so many to choose from. But um, I don't know. Like I say, I will be in August making my decisions about all of that. And um, I'm sure we'll be m making more decisions about personal things and everything else going on. So uh, we'll see what happens. But right now just uh basically taking it one day at a time uh trying to get over this uh hand foot and mouth situation <laughs> and uh trying to give myself a lot of um, a lot of grace i guess is all i can do right now but let me know how you guys are doing i hope you guys are doing good i hope to possibly be able to do a couple of these whipping chats uh, throughout the event. Like I say, I am, as soon as I get everything in from the sponsors, I'm going to do a video solely dedicated to everything that they have created uh, for the event because they've created some phenomenal things. Um, some things you can purchase in their shops as well. So thank you so, so much to them and for everybody uh, for the support of the event and everything else. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies for the, <laughs> apologies for the gloves, but um, absolutely necessary right now. Uh, but I hope you guys are doing good and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.